Hey friends, we got a new collection of bags from Simple. Ooh, this looks pretty good. So we've got a day pack, a weekender pack, a travel bag, and a sling. So if you're open to it, I submit. Let's talk about these. Okay, first things first, I wanna talk about this day pack. Your day bag is your thing that you like live with. You know, the sling as well, maybe some of you are slingers, we're gonna go through that. But your daily carry bag is what you live with. Every interaction on your daily carry bag, every zipper, every time you reach for the handle. What do I think of this handle? Ah, I actually like this handle. You see this? It's just some webbing folded, which I actually really like. I've always said that the handle on a bag is one of the best ways for a bag maker to tell me what to think about this bag. So what is this handle telling me? Uh, utilitarian and uh, solid. This actually is a water sealed zip, but it moves really smooth. See how it has a, has a big horseshoe opening like this? That's... I I think it's beautiful. They're using Cordura fabric with a really serious DWR treatment. I know that there's a recycled liner on the inside. What does our liner feel like? Oh, the liner feels pretty good. It feels like a, okay, look at this. See our little faux, faux fur back here? Can you feel that? Okay, here's my 16 inch MacBook Pro. All right, we're just gonna slide it in here. But first, give me 60 seconds to tell you about Western Rise, one of my favorite men's clothing makers. These are the Evolution Pant, all right? It has completely replaced the jeans in my life. I love this pant every day. This is the X Cotton T-shirt, an upgraded, elevated T-shirt with some materials that you really, you don't feel other places. And then they have, some hats as well as button-up shirts and things like that. This Versa hat's super crushable. And this one is completely new from them. Got some nice mesh in the back, a reinforced upper, great brim. Western Rise, link below supports the channel. It does, it supports the channel when you use that link. Shout out to Western Rise for supporting the channel. Now, about this laptop sleeve. All right, we're just gonna slide it in here. Ooh, that slides in really nice. I wasn't looking, I'm on the other side, I just kind of guessed at it. Now pulling it out. Okay, this works great, because it look, it's taller, it's much taller. Most times I'm using a bag like this, it's from uh, a company that is making a little bit of a smaller bag. This one's 20 liters, and that is like, see that? Comes right out, so that's every time. Multiple times a day sometimes, if you're working from multiple places, right? Ah. Oh. That works really well. And the fur does feel nice, like it really slides in well. Magnetic little keychain thing. Some of you guys go crazy for this stuff. They got that, they got a little pocket right here with some mesh. I like this mesh, I'm fine with this. It keeps stuff up and away from, uh, from the inside of your bag. You've also got a tablet, like a slash, um, you could, the uh, papers, you know, for papers, man. Business papers. You've got a simple open top pouch on this side over here, no elastic there, but on this side, you have a, an expandable water bottle. Let's see if my favorite current water bottle can get in there pretty easily. Looks like it's gonna be fine. Pushing it down, I wish it was a little taller. Again, this is a huge water bottle. I'm someone who takes one water bottle out for the whole day, basically. I can, I, if I never find more water to drink that day, I'm gonna be okay. Cause I'm also probably giving water to my kids. Cause if you're a parent, you know what it's like when your kids get really dehydrated, but you're probably not a parent. So this water bottle holder, I could do with it being a little taller. If you use a smaller water bottle, you're gonna be fine. I don't know if you have kids actually. Okay, back panel concerns. Look at these straps. They're actually really beefy. They're like thick, but with a, with a lot of padding, like a lot of cushion. We've got some decent airflow stuff going on right here. This feels like a standard sort of foam and mesh. We've got a luggage pass-through. This is enough breathability 
for people who are concerned about breathability. These are really beefy. I think, the, you know, the, the way a strap looks is kind of, it's, it's like something that people are, are optimizing for. They want it to look a certain way or not look some certain ways. How does this look? This looks fine. This looks fine. It's like a, it's, it's matte black. It's all black. It's got a little bit of shininess to it. It's sort of a fashionable, simple bag. Like this has a, has a functionality. You can actually strap on accessories. Apparently they're making some accessories, but you can also get some other accessories that'll clip on to, to stuff like this. Let's talk about this front panel. Simple flat pocket on the front here. Phone can go right in there. Then this pocket has dimension built in and I'm in love. You can fit Bluetooth headphones right into this because you have dimension, right? So your headphones just go right there, for example. Maybe you have a, a tech pouch that you put in here. Little like admin panel organization, a place for your pen. I'm liking the durability and the like weather resistance. It is a total commitment on this bag to because it's such a part of the look, you know? It's such a big part of the look and how this thing feels. It's a little bit Eddie Murphy raw. Zip poles are simple, okay? Really, really simple, but they have texture. They're made from something that's not gonna break down. This feels great. Sometimes I love a zip pole that has like a little bit of girth in it, but in my little experience with this right now and my other bags that I have that, are, that use, use Hypalon zip poles like this, these are nicely textured. You're not gonna have a problem with these zip poles all the time. You can commit to these zip poles. I am pleasantly surprised with these bags. Other things you might notice when you're using this bag, strap gather elastic, that's kind of nice. Once you get locked in, like I probably won't move the straps from here. I like my bag, like I'm like a Tom Morello guitar player. I get it all really up and, and high and I want it feeling tight. There's no sternum strap on this thing or attachments for it. I don't need that at all in a day pack. We'll see what they're doing with their travel bag. It's like a, it's like a classic school kid bag, but everything's really robust in it. And there's plenty of tech organization. And it's like, you know, effectively so water resistant, you could almost get away with calling it waterproof. But waterproof is only talked about things that you can actually submerge in water and be okay. And none of the bags that you see with water sealed zips are submergible like that, okay? Don't put your bag in the water, Tommy. There are some of you who are living in places where you actually use an umbrella. This would be a perfect umbrella pocket. Doesn't feel like there's any uh, drain in it. Could some of you working like with nicer sweaters on, with maybe even a blazer with like a button up shirt, check out my, my collection of favorite button up shirts. I will link to that in the time code below in the YouTube description. Uh, I've got a lot of preferences and opinions on that. Could you get away with this? I don't know. It depends on your job. Some of you probably could. The truth is you could clearly live out of this bag. They've designed it pretty well. I'm always looking for a bag I can live out of. This is a nice little place to protect your zip from some water dripping into it potentially. You can see some of the brand dream, like the, the aesthetic here, right? This is just bar tacking. This is really durable stuff. They've got their little sort of lat longitude on here. It's just kind of clearly a branded sort of experience, but ultimately very minimal, very minimal. This material itself, I tend not to love stuff that's super robust like this, but because of the way that the padding and the design, especially this like horseshoe thing right here, this big sort of front pocket, because it has that kind of classic school backpack look, um, it has a kind of softness to it. It doesn't feel like a box, right? It doesn't feel like a box. I don't love really rigid, boxy bags. I want my bag to still be a bag, but I also want it to be durable, not pick up lint and dirt very easily, be water resistant, have plenty of organization for my like tech stuff. Even if it's not a lot of organization, I just need enough. It has to be workable. I like a water bottle pocket, right? What are your needs? Okay, let's sling it up and then the weekender and the travel pack. Also, this bag, there's a potential for it to stand on its own, depending on how you have it packed. Obviously with nothing in it, there's a lot of structure. Some of you love that. The sling pack, obviously we're looking at the same materials here, same kind of zip pulls, same external material. Very interested to see 
how these straps connect and what the strap is like. You've got a little handle, little secret pocket in the back. Great for a sling up against your body. This one's actually different than this over here where there's a little bit of dimension in this. Can you see this dimension? Slightly. That makes a big difference when you're reaching in and out here because the lip kind of goes in and lets your hand get through. That's nice. That's actually, it's very nice. So you've got that zipper there. You've got this one that goes all the way around. We'll open next and then this one in the back. This front one that goes all the way around is a lay flat guy. This can be useful when you're like at the desk, you've put some like, you know, you can really put some cables and make this your whole sort of tech pouch. This pocket, larger, apparently I think a 10 and a half inch iPad they said would fit in here. Bluetooth headphones would fit in here, but you can see we've got a little tablet guy, some more elastic stuff and a couple meshies over here and then a pen bit right here. Let's look at this strap. I love this kind of webbing. I love this kind of shiny, nice, like it's really like super flexible. This, I've seen things like this before. This is, we're gonna like this. Gated G hooks, all right, is what connect these things. These things work great. They can be a little bit of a bugger to try to get off. So pulling these on and off regularly can be a little frustrating, but there is a method for doing it. You just kind of have to figure it out on your own. Okay, so our strap here. One of the things that we don't have on this is a clip to just open it up and come around. What we have instead is an open like this. You still have to do this move, okay? There's no way out of this move. This, you go real fast with this. This is great. You know, you're getting it into place. You might need to use two hands. Let's see, if I'm holding here, I can get it open easily, right? And I still gotta do this but it's really long. That makes all the difference in the world. Then you can kind of cinch it up and you're good to go. And here's what it looks like on my body. Now, this like move around to the front thing and then you've got it all right here. The one lay flat pocket can be kind of nice for this. People who use like cameras and drones are like use shit like this a lot. The material selection here is a little different. You've got this like neoprene thing on the back. This feels great. I'm impressed. Very impressed. I haven't seen anything from these guys before. Um, they make like surfboard bags as well. This is their big, their first like big collection, and I'm seeing a lot like that 3D space in this pocket of like very considered, thoughtful design and build. Okay, Weekender now. All right, you see this? 25 liters. All right, we've got another big front zipper that goes all the way around and then a pocket in the back, a zip there. We've got a quick access on the top. We've got a flat front, but it's up higher than it was over here. No dimension like to a little pouch right here. What I'm suspecting is that, and by the way, nice, look at that, okay. Lots of structure on this bag, so when you pull your zipper up against it, it doesn't ruffle this thing and get all, get all caught up the way that those zippers can. So you've got some gusseting and this is like your tech pouch. It's like everything goes in here that you need a little, little neoprene there, all these guys. This, this doesn't have an opening behind it. Nice little YKK zips on their inner stuff. There's that uh, like holographic thing. And then you've got some pocket down here. You've got some space down here. Also a zipper here. This front pocket, flat, actually, but there's like quite a bit of space in here. So whatever you put down here, you want it to be tall. Like this is like a notebook pouch, right? If your notebook goes up to here, that'd be perfect. That same umbrella pocket over here, that same water bottle pocket over here. I think they can make a more secure water bottle pocket in time. But again, if you have a smaller water bottle than mine, you're probably gonna be fine. This quick access has a very small opening but it goes down, okay? You can see how my, my hands like, it's a very small opening. So you just want, and it's about like that wide in there. It's the same plush sort of velvet as the laptop compartment. So you can see how it comes up when I pull my hand off because I'm, I'm a little sweaty. Perfect spot for my AirPods or key fob or something like that. As it is, it's probably big enough for your phone. 
So you only needed to reach in with a finger or two to, to grab that. Different handle here on this one. It's padded and sort of fluffy. You can see the bar tacking. We're using that super thick Cordura with the like, with the coating on the outside and we've got some mesh underneath. Back panel, we've got a sternum strap on this one. You see how it works on these little beams of nylon here and a regular old clip there. Everything else is looking upgraded and different. Same, same straps. They're gonna be using the same straps because it takes a lot of work to develop a strap that actually works, you know? Then we've got a little bit of, of ruffles have ridges here, more of a sturdy back. This is your sideways luggage pass-through um, and no other zippers or pockets over here. However, we do have a little secret pocket here. What I've found myself doing before on some bags is using this side access as the quick access pocket, right? That's where I would throw my AirPods and my phone when I'm in transit instead of this. That's what, that's what I would likely do with this bag because it's, it's a little small. This, not that they wouldn't fit, it would just be the in and out of, of that smaller pocket is what I'm, what, you know, you notice it over time and this is great. It's just fine and wide, it's like, you know, it's basically the size of that opening there and then it goes down to there. But nice little secret place and once the zipper's sort of put into place, you can barely notice that it's even there. Notice also these webbings here on either side, that same branded sort of webbing. And then we have this big back pocket, which you can see zips so beautifully. So nice. It's that horseshoe design. It's the, the curvature. Some companies will put too sharp of a curve and you get like caught up on it every time. Sometimes there's not enough structure in the bag and the whole bag's like flopping down, right? Lots of structure here. This is not super easy to open. What this is designed for is basically you looking at it like this as it's down on the floor, right? You don't actually need to get a lot open to get your hand down and, and pick out what you want, especially if you're packed into like cubes and stuff. It's impossible to show you inside the thing, but it's quite a lot of space. Like this is, if you filled this up with clothing, right, you would have a lot of clothes. You'd have a lot of clothes. If you had a pair of shoes at the bottom, you get one, you should never be traveling with a net more than like, when I travel, I wear the one pair of pants that I travel with the whole time. It's because I, I wear the West, I just, I wear Western Rise Evolution pants and they've replaced my jeans. I'll link to them below. But that's why. And also if I need to bring another pair of those, they're super thin, so they take up very little space. So shoes, if I did another pair of thinner pants, like that don't take up a lot of room, I do my jammy shorts and uh, a long sleeve shirt for my jammy shirt, which I might use the long sleeve when I go out. I'm fine, I'm fine. That's like a nice jammy shirt, goes a long way. So you can wear it to bed, but it's like, worst case scenario, you could also wear it out if you need to and it's a little chillier than you thought it was. Shoes, pants, long sleeve, shorts for my, for my uh, jammies. And then I've got space for like three or four shirts on top of that. We still need to think about our toiletry kit. I use a super minimal kit that would fit right on top of that. So I could like, I'm easily having three outfits, three different shirts and another pair of pants and my sleeping stuff and my toiletries in that right there, which I can get by for a while with that. And that's the trick to minimal fashion is you gotta be a little bit of a dirt bag. The only pocket in here is, uh, is like a document uh, place for your, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Because this final zipper on the back here, up against the back panel, water sealed, this is your laptop compartment, okay? This is where you get your laptop in and out of, and they say it fits an up to a 17 inch laptop. Okay, and it is pulled off the bottom of the bag just slightly, it's suspended. Great protection, feels good. This back panel has a lot of like rigid padding on it. Okay, so with a bag like this, all right? With a bag like this, you can travel with minimally and it's like one bag. So how big does it look on me? How big does this look to you? If you're just like seeing someone walking around town because they got to New York or something, like I'm trying, like what is, how, I'm curious actually. It looks like it's not too bad. It's a little, it's like a little bit bigger than I typically want to be walking around on a daily basis with. However, 
to do everything with one bag. If I was going to do, if I was doing like a consulting weekend somewhere and I could get away with just one bag, I'm mostly gonna be working at my friend's house or something, then it's like, cool, I just have this. And if I need to go out, I probably won't take my, like you can kind of live maybe with a slip, but all I really need is a notebook and my phone. I've got that. I think these straps would feel very comfortable. They're plenty rigid. They're plenty, plenty padded and, and breathable. This is really solid, especially if you have like larger everyday carry loads. If you bring your lunch with you every day to work, I know I, I have friends like that. Lunch every day in a, in a bigger box, right? This would be perfect because then you've got another whole cube in the back and your tech sort of organized into the bag itself, right? Solid. This is the weekender. All right, here is the travel pack, which is, which is apparently uh, 10 liters larger than the one we were just looking at. That was 25, 20, 25, 35. Now on a travel pack, it really matters what your straps are like. These are the same. These actually feel a little bit, a little bit thicker. No, they're, they're the same. I think they're the same straps, which I have no problems with. You got the sternum strap. Looks like there's D hooks down here because these straps are removable. You can zip them away and carry it as a duffel, which there's a, there's a handle right there. Got a handle on the top and handle on the side. You've also got with that ring and that ring there, you can carry it sideways. There's probably gonna be a shoulder strap in there. One of my favorite ways to travel is Bigger travel bag like this, full of all my clothes and, and essential, and then a day bag like this that I can fit right under the seat in front of me on the airplane, and I have everything that I need in it. This then lives in the place that I'm staying, the hotel or the Airbnb or the friend's house or something like that, and then this goes out with me. Water bottle pocket looks to be a little bit deeper, but in actuality, it's, it's not quite deep enough for my use of this thing, which is, which is quite a bummer. This looks like, like a... Uh, I'd have to go, if I was traveling with this, I would have to go with a smaller bag. You want like a secure water bottle connection. You don't want it to be like flopping out. But you also kind of want a lot of water when you're traveling, so. <laughs> Beggars and choosers. So same straps, same back panel, same luggage pass through. Just everything's like a slightly larger maybe. Same quick pocket on the back here, but it's bigger. It's bigger now. This is your little security pocket here. Same laptop pocket spot. Same velvet on the inside, 17 inches they say this will fit. It's suspended off the bottom a little bit. You've got those sort of last strap spots that you might need. Same front panel, which opens up gusseted, all right? Like that, here's our strap. We've got a shoulder strap, which feels, feels pretty solid. I like this, this looks, this looks fine. This looks like all I would need. Here on the front, you've got these little guys and this little guy and this little guy. There's two little guys down here and then the space it's got some space itself. It looks like it's probably, I would say it's like an inch deep. That pocket itself is like an inch deep. So great for like a magazine, Bluetooth headphones. Same little quick access here, same velvet inside, same small opening. Okay, so that leaves this zipper back here, which is our main compartment. It zips down to the bottom on both sides so that you can, now on both sides of this, okay, the lid, maybe you call it, and the back portion, there's this zippered open spot. So you can like lay out your business shirts man in here. And I mean, if you, you'd have to have a, like quite a few. You'd have to stack that up for them not to like fall around because it's actually quite roomy in here. You can see on the sides, what is this, like a, like maybe almost two inches right there. So you're going to fill that space up. There's also a pocket built into this, a little meshy that you can access just from this side here. On this side, it's just mesh. And then you've got your main compartment. Okay. Which feels great. Lots of space, lots of space here. This is like a, uh, you know, this, you can feel the laptop compartment there. This is three and a half inches, three inches on the side there. No pockets around here. Just throw your shit inside of this. Crunch it down, zip it up. You've got your tech on the outside, your laptop on the back, little pocket here, secret pocket, water bottle pocket. You've got everything that you need, right? Now, they're using YKK zippers on the inside, which is great. These move really smooth and nice. They have just a simple 
mm, it feels like a plastic, but I think it's just a matte metal finish on these. Super capable travel backpack. This thing's great. Super durable. When you're not having a hip strap, they've got those little D rings right down here. They're not gonna make probably a hip strap that attaches to this. So you're gonna carry all that load right here. The sternum strap helps a bunch, but travel bags can get filled up. You know, you can really, you can really start carrying a lot of weight with these. And this definitely is carry on size in the US. They say the bag comes in, I think it's like three and a half, four pounds. I don't have my little scale. So some of you that might be a little weight heavy, but that's a pretty dang light bag for all of the features that you get with this and the durability, right? I think these really are going to be durable bags. That mesh on the inside, the mesh back here, the handles maybe will be places you'll see fray. You'll get some marks on this, but that's like every bag starts to show its wear and tear. That's a question of like the patina, like how does this patina? I think this, I think this will patina really well and will continue to be super rugged in protecting your stuff from the elements and the weather. Like they're designed to really, you feel comfortable being out in a drizzle. You feel comfortable like having all your shit with you. Okay. That's the whirlwind tour. I have to say that I am honestly very impressed. Um, I'm not typically one for the shiny Eddie Murphy raw style, but I'll be honest that most of my friends who like bags like stuff like this, like the, the more, you know, peak design nomadic and they use it and they love it. Right? Cause these are ultimately very techie bags. They do a lot for you. I really love, the day pack because it does have that classic school backpack look. I'm always looking for well-designed, simple bags that do have those like few things that we definitely need in modern life. Super capable little sling, little brick that you could use as your toiletry kit, as your tech pouch, um, or an everyday sling. Like you carry your everyday stuff in it. Really durable, really organized and functional. You're gonna have to get used to that strap that's the one thing uh, in regular sling use, I do like a clicker personally. If you were choosing between the weekender and the travel bag, it's like an interesting question because this obviously has more space. But if you're using the main compartment on this regularly, it, it's better over here to be using it regularly. If you have a larger daily carry load, try to get it into this one instead of this one for because they have uh, those zippered compartments on the top of each of the internal main big clothing compartments, right? Um, this is just set up more for regular access to that co compartment. However, if you're traveling, this is, this is an excellent way to go, right? This is an awesome travel bag, like a, like really, really solid materials, really robust. Like once it's all packed out and it's on you, you've like, you've got a little rock on your back that you're like, you can get through anything. These straps I think feel great. For travel bags, I typically get pretty serious about uh, uh, the harness system and having some uh, hip straps because I just wanna be able to move super efficiently and, and I need to be able to last as long as possible sometimes. Shout out to Simple for sending these out. Shout out to, to you for watching. How are you doing? Have you traveled? Are you traveling? Do you have something scheduled? Get out there, go see the world. Hey, can you travel in your own hometown? That's pretty fun. Just doing like a weekend away where you're, you, you just have to pack for something and then you're gonna have hours where you only have what you packed, right? Like, are you actually gonna start writing? <laughs> are you actually gonna do that stuff you wanted to do? Or are you just sit around and worry and check social media? When you're leaving home, you wanna make sure you have what you need, folks. And these guys are doing a great job making, making stuff to get you out there with what you need. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please use the link below. I think there's a discount code associated with this. If that's active, I will put that in the description in YouTube. That's how we pay for uh, cereal for my children, in fact. And uh, and uh, and babysitters. Thanks for watching. Holler in the comments with any trips that you have coming up or that you want to take. My wife was just like, I want to go see Portugal. <laughs> Every time I get out into a new place, it does change me. It changed me for a long period of time. Travel is an awesome way to get out of your ruts. And some of us are traveling every day.
So keep on keeping on. Bye. <laughs>